This is a short video made in February of 2022 because I couldn't find a video on YouTube that described how to install the 2022 version of the KAC C2 hitch mounted bike rack. There are a few differences in their new model compared to what you see on YouTube. One is these bars here um, are quite different and how they're inserted, uh, how they're screwed down is different. Uh, these uh, straps are not talked about anywhere in the instructions and there's a good time to put them on. If you wait till the end, uh, it's a little bit more inconvenient. Uh, just a few other little tips. Uh, this was made February, as I said, of 2022, and it's the version from KAC, the C2. Okay, let me show you a little trick. They don't tell you anything about these rear wheel clamps in the instructions. They clearly go on the back, opposite from the front wheel, but this is a problem for sliding it on. You really have to force it on. So why not, before you install this oval assembly, why not slide that smoothly on first so that you don't have to do that? And another tip is that this one is installed wrong. Whereas this one is installed correctly because you're pushing it through the wheel and you have more room to work here you're not working in between the two bikes like you would be with this one so i've got to take this one off and reposition it again a lot of the videos online do not show you the new system of the kac c2 and that's using these oval tubes instead of some square bars so that's where i ran into a bit of a problem and the way you want to insert those is if you're going to do it according to the instructions like this if you want to do it according to the instructions like this where you can see this bar goes in this way and that lever bar moves over that way well they don't come out of the box that way so you're just going to have to move it until it matches the diagram. And then you're gonna start by putting in the small bolts here, and you'll notice at the bottom of the small bolts you have the square. And the square needs to fit into this square so that you get a nice good grip when you're ratcheting the bottom bolt, which all the bolts go with a washer on the outside and then this compression bolt. You can see here's a picture of the compression bolt. If you screw that all the way on with your fingers, it's not gonna go all the way on because you need the torque of the ratchet wrench to push this any further onto the bolt. These large bolts go in this way so that you can have plenty of access on this side here to work with your ratchet and the bolts. It's not gonna work if you put the bolt in that way. You don't have enough room here to work adequately. And forget about the tools that they provide you with. They're pretty skimpy. You wanna get yourself a good ratchet on this side, and then you wanna hold the bolt with a good sized um, hex tool. The one they give you is pretty small. The next thing you want to look at is the front wheel holders. And the front wheel holders go facing outside, not inside. Okay, so facing outside, and you can see this is a hexagonal so that the bolt just drops nicely in there. I would put it into the outside holes since you probably have adult bikes. The next thing you want to do is slide these grabber bars over. So obviously you want them to be hooked, you know, over the bikes. And then they tell you to install an Allen screw. Well, that Allen screw is only to prevent this from coming off. And you insert the Allen screw right there. When the Allen screw is properly inserted, it looks like that. And it just prevents this from sliding any higher than that. 